Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Dale Danker, President of TWU Local 514. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me get up over a thousand. Getting close. We're sitting at 821, so thumbs up uh, for those helping with that. Um, I've spoke with Gary Peterson this morning on uh, a couple of issues, a couple of contractual things coming up, but uh, I wanted to make a quick update to talk to mostly um, the new employees. Um, if you're a new employee and you're still considered to be on probation because you were hired before date of ratification, and it was then it was a 180 calendar days, um, we have clarification. I've got a phone call both from the company and I've talked to Gary Peterson that it is 90 working days. So if you were before data ratification, you were hired and you were under that contract serving 180 calendar days, add up your time. And if you've served 90 working days, you're done with probation. You're off. So this video, um, please, if you're watching it and you're not a new member and you work around someone that um, you think is still on, on probation, please let them know that if they've they've achieved 90 working days, they're off of probation. They will also not be tested. The old contract said that you will take an A25 test prior to your six months. Um, now there is no testing. The only testing that belongs is if you look in the um, qualifications article of our new contract, there's a um, machinist, welders, maybe in the plating section, um, plating plating mechanic jobs um, that might be a test I'd have to look but there's a few tests um, but not many and one of them um, there's no test there's no A25 test so um, 90 working days probation no test um, we'll sit down with the company next week on Wednesday at 10 a.m. with Kendall Anderson and Terry Buck we will start talking about, about how to um, get to some of the things that need implemented. Um, crew chief ratios, crew chief um, overtime, how to handle Memorial Day coming up. We'll be observing Memorial Day on the base, but what does that look like? So you're scheduled to work, so somehow you have to let the company know that you'd like to observe Memorial Day off, or do you work? You get um, your eight hours pay for the holiday, uh, time and a half if you work. Um, you can put that into a comp bank or take the money. We've got to work through that issue, and we got to work through um, the May bid that's coming up. So um, it's clearly stated in the contract that the crew chiefs will bid first. So in my opinion, if um, you have work in an area just for simple numbers, you have 10 crew chiefs. Those crew chiefs, there, would be, there should be 10 rosters. At the top of the roster, there should be a slot for crew chiefs, and then up to 16 mechanics underneath that. And the crew chiefs, all 10 crew chiefs would line up in seniority order and they would pick which roster they would want to be on. Shift, days off, bid location. Crew chief put his name up there. We'd do all, all the crew chiefs. Yeah. And then all 10, the, the crew would come behind with their seniority, highest senior guy first, and they would pick and they would place their name on which roster they wanted to work on, shift, days off, and underneath that crew chief. Um, that's how the contract reads, and I hope that we don't have to fight this company to get that accomplished for you guys. I believe the new contract will provide stability for the workers and for the company. Um, we have heard that there's a COVID-19 um, positive test in the medical um, department. I'm told that they're cleaning that. Um, again, everyone protect yourself. At all costs, do the things that you need to do to um, stay safe. And um, please subscribe to this channel. Share with the new members, 90 working days, probation. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.